In just a few weeks, the world has been turned upside down, with countries fighting a war not against each other, but against a virus. This crisis affects us all in many different ways. Today, we will discuss how you can continue doing business in times like these. Welcome to BizNode Studio. After a decade of low-risk business environment, we're now thrown into a high-risk environment. We see countries being shut down, we see businesses being hit hard, and others are struggling with their supply chain. Risk is all over. In this episode of BizNode Studio, we will discuss why it's so important to base your business decisions on data. And for this, I welcome BizNode's CEO, Magnus Silverberg. A warm welcome. Thank you. So, Magnus, BizNode is a company designed to build trust in between companies. How do you view your role in this very changed business climate? Yeah, just as you say, we, are, uh, we have been providing trust in society between companies since we started. And actually, it actually started in 1859 when Bonnier started up the trade journal, enabling trade between different companies in different parts of Sweden. Uh, that didn't know each other before, so they never traded before this. And now they started to trust each other when they could read up on each other. And this is what we're still doing. We're helping companies to assess risks on counterparts uh, through our services. And this becomes more important than ever now, I think, that, that you're actually looking out how your customers and your suppliers are paying and how they are doing. So we, will, we act a little bit as oil in the machinery to make the business environment continue working. Mm. And when you read and listen to news nowadays, it feels like the whole world just came to a halt, that mm -hmm. nothing is happening, but that's not the whole truth, is it? No, I think we see still a, a good activity uh, when we look into our services and our systems. Of course, there is a increase in bankruptcies and so on. I mean, for example, in Sweden, we saw that in March we had a 23% increase in bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's a lot. But overall, and in the industries that are not uh, extremely affected, like travel, restaurants, etc., there we actually see a continued uh, activity. A little bit lower level than last year, but still uh, continued activity. Okay, so so you work data driven to provide this trust, but but first, what what happens uh, with trust in times like these? Well, I think there is a high risk that you start distrusting each other because you are reading so much in the paper and so on, and and I, I really kind of urge everyone uh, doing business that do not distrust just because you have read things in the newspaper. I mean, look at data. It's extremely important now to be data-driven, I would why, say. Why would you say it's so extremely important? I mean, take BizNode, for instance, as an example. We are not changing the score of a company just because we have read in the newspaper that the industry that that company is in is affected by corona. We change the score if we see that that company stops paying their bills. Mm -hmm. So we, use, we act on real data. And that's what I mean. You need to be really data-driven and act on data and take your decisions based on data, not gut feeling in these times. It's extra important. Mm. It's always important, it's but always. Extra, <laughs> extra important in these times. And credit rating is an important part when deciding whom to trust. Are they reliable at these times? Absolutely. I mean, when we do a credit score, we use data, both historical financial data from companies, mm. but also use close to real-time data uh, in terms of payment history and how companies are paying to each other. And that we update daily in our systems. Then we also add macroeconomic data, industry-specific data, other type of statistics, and we use predictive analytics to predict how companies will, will do in the future. So combining all of this makes it um, the data up to date, uh, the information up to date, and but it's so trusted. much happening all the time. How do you manage? You actually manage to keep it up to date. I mean, yes, absolutely. And and if you look at the um, uh, a company with a high credit score that had a high credit score before Corona, mm -hmm. they are more likely to go through the crisis in a good way than uh, a company with a low credit score. Plus that you add the up to date real time payment uh, data, then you get a really good picture. 
But, but also it's important that a credit information or a credit score is not a decision in itself. You also need to add your own knowledge about customers. It's one part of the... It's one part of a, of a, of a decision material, I would say. So, so how important is it also that you don't discourage trade and business being done at this point? Well, I think we have an we have a responsibility here uh, as Bisnode and as uh, the industry that we're in, because we could, of course, uh, discourage trade if we put a very low credit score on all companies. Mm. But we will not do that. We will not do that by reading in the newspaper. We will only do it if we if we see it in the data. And I think it's extremely important, therefore, that you actually have are monitoring how this works. Uh, what it looks like today, and I think all companies have a responsibility to keep, you know, trade going in these mm. times. To keep the business going. Yeah. So that's the. I mean, we we can't do healthcare, but we can keep business going and and do our part. Yeah, I mean, unless you're in an industry that is affected in the sense so that people cannot come to your establishment, uh, you are. It's probably likely that you can continue to do business from a, from a distance, and that you can use uh, technology, video conferencing, etc., to to continue uh, dealing with your partners and customers and suppliers. And I think we we, we really need to keep the wheel spinning because we want the society to come back to after Corona. We want to is have over. something to come back. Exactly. To. So so it's, I That's think true. it's on all our responsibility to do as much as we can. And would you say it's it's possible to still make business and make safe business in these times? Absolutely, absolutely. I would say, I mean, you have the technological uh, tools to do it, and uh, you have the data, it's out there, uh, to be able to trust other companies. Mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely continue doing business. And you probably know your customers as well, right? Absolutely. I mean, I would also like to say that the, the data that you can get from us and other players are one thing, but then Many most the companies know their customers best. I mean, they they uh, un, you understand probably uh, which type of customers you have, uh, who will be there tomorrow, and so on. So I think it's a so combine those. It's a good. So so she would sum this up with some advice for for the people listening to this. Absolutely. I mean, I would um, advise all companies to work data driven. You know, use the data out there, use the credit information services out there um, to rank and sort your data to understand uh, what your customer looks like and monitor how that changes over time. Mm -hmm. um, and, but then also use your own customer knowledge. I mean, you know the customer best and uh, if they are late paying a bill today or this week, it doesn't mean that they have to go bankrupt in a, in a month. Uh, so. I think also that it's good to to kind of rank your customers who is the most important ones that you really want to keep mm -hmm. uh, and um, discuss with them, talk with them. I mean, give them uh, special payment terms if needed, but also be aware and look out for companies that will try to use Corona as an excuse just to negotiate better prices and better terms. Oh, I think that will you, will that occur as well? I think that will happen for sure. So I would really look out for that. And then I would also think twice before entering into a, a new customer relation with a, a customer in an affected industry that I would dis definitely discuss with that customer first to understand the payment mm. uh, availability or possibility. And then I would also look at the governments out there. What are they doing? What type of packages are they giving to different industries? If they're giving a big aid package to an industry, that will lower the risk for that industry. So you should take that into consideration as well into your overall decision. Risk decision, yeah. yeah. Super advice, Magnus. Thank you for sharing that with us. And I'm sure you're here to answer more questions if our viewers have them. And you can also keep a lookout for more episodes on Business Studio here at the website. So let's hope that you can keep your business going and we're all in this together. So thank you for watching and stay safe.